first day that I woke up to snow. Oh my gosh. It's still snowing right now, but barely flurrying. You cannot tell. How pretty. I still got my pumpkins out. <laughs> and there's snow on the ground. Good morning, guys. It is a snowy Wednesday morning. This is like the first time I've seen snow, well, at least in Boise this year so far. It did not snow a lot, but it's snowing flurries right now and it's a whole vibe. So I broke the beanie out for today. My hair looks a little crazy today because I don't know, I had it curled yesterday and now it's just like staticky and fell out of the curls and I didn't have time to do it before I dropped Squirtle off. He's back here <laughs> at the groomer. He did not want to come. He went out this morning and then I was like, okay, come on, we're getting in the car. He ran back up. My camera died, but my hair really does look insane today. I'm just like, this is not gonna work. <laughs> I just need to wash my hair, honestly. That's why I'm so happy that beanie season is back. Anyway, I was just saying that Squirtle didn't want to go barking at a dog. <laughs> he did not want to get up this morning. It was very difficult to get my son up, but we're going to the groomer. He just gets his um, nails trimmed there and his glands expressed. It's a thing. He goes like every month. Um, so it's really quick. I'm probably gonna get Starbucks because I'm getting my nails done in like 45 minutes So I think it should be the perfect amount of time to drop him back off and then head over to the nail salon So I'm not gonna really have time to have a full breakfast today So I'm probably gonna get Starbucks but Welcome to the vlog. All right. I haven't had a second to vlog, but I got a little What did I get flat white with peppermint two pumps peppermint? Three pumps white mocha and vanilla bean powder. And I got a little coffee cake, which I don't remember the last time I had that. It's still snowing, so that's why I have not been vlogging, but I'm headed to my nail appointment. So I'm getting these nails taken off today, and for some reason, these nails were the biggest hit I have ever, ever had. When I tell you multiple men complimented me on these nails, just a guy at Starbucks 10 minutes ago. Okay, real talk. I usually get maybe, maybe like one to three compliments on my nails. I usually have my nails on for three weeks-ish. And like maybe, sometimes I literally might not get a single compliment on my nails, okay? But I like them, that's all that matters. These nails, so many men were obsessed with these nails. And every time I went to Orange Theory, the girls at the front desk, like these were a freaking hit. So I've been telling Jared like, I don't even wanna get these off because these were so fun. So. Let me know if anyone has had a similar experience with getting a checkered nail. But today, I am gonna insert a picture of what I wanna do. I'm seeing a new nail girl. She's pretty good at nail art, so that's why I kinda wanna do something like fun. I still wanna get the checkers. They're on one nail in this photo that I'm gonna show you guys, and I think I wanna do two checkered nails, so we'll see how they turn out. It is the snowiest day. It kinda looks like it's raining right now, but it's still snowing. It's just a cozy day, it's freezing, so I'm going in. Oh, it's really snowing now. I'm leaving my appointment. <laughs> it's coming down out here. Nail reveal. I think they're so cute. I guess they're kind of a little springy, but I just couldn't decide what to get because I'm like, I've already had so many fall nails. It's not time yet for Christmas nails. I'll wait till like end of November, early December for my Christmas nails. So like, I just want to do something random and fun. I wanted to get the checker again, but I only did it on this finger, look how cute the little mushroom is. I've never had mushroom nails. I think these turned out so cute and I just, I'm shaking cause I really, really need to eat. I feel like I haven't had a second to like actually vlog today. So hello, today's been just rushed cause started off I was like snoozing my alarm cause it was so gloomy outside. I was like still tired, I'm like I don't wanna get up and Squirtle had his appointment at like 10.30 so I woke up at like 9.50, but it was still hard. It was just one of those days, like the time change, it's really getting to me with these gloomy, cold, dark days. So anyway, I dropped them off at home and went straight to my appointment after that. Just finished, it's 1.50. So my nails did take a bit. My nails usually take like an hour and a half to two hours, especially if I get nail art. I know that might sound crazy. If I get a solid color, which maybe I get every like four times, it won't take as long, but I would rather them be intricate, you know what I mean, than rush it, and I'm like, okay, that was sloppy, you know what I mean? So, I really appreciate it, but I am friggin' starved, because all I ate was half of my coffee cake. I'm shaking, that's how friggin' hungry I am, so I need to go home and eat, and <laughs> do stuff, because, you know those days, like, I don't know, maybe I just shouldn't schedule my appointments for, like, morning, afternoon, because now it's almost 2 o'clock, and I'm like, well, you have three hours of 
daylight left. Like, it just feels like there's no time in the day. But this is my constant, like, every day. It's like, you gotta just wake up earlier, Lindsay, if you want the days to be longer. Or I need to just, I think I'm adjusting to the period of, like, because I do normally still, like, work and be productive till, like, dinner time, at least, usually. But since it's, you know, dark at 5 now, it, like, makes me want to cut off the day at 5. But I'm not really, like, done with my stuff, like, at 5. Especially if, like, today, having a appointments. It's like I haven't even had time to do anything. So I got to refocus and go home and have some food and get a little bit of things done today. I'm sure you guys are in this too. It, I mean, if you live in America, we're just adjusting to this like, you know, the confusing, it's just every year, I'm like, why do we have to do the time change? Like, please, can this be the last one ever? Hopefully, but I love my nails. I am very happy with them. Jared made me breakfast for lunch. I'm so excited because I was so starved and I just get to eat this right when I get home. Breakfast at two o'clock. You know what? It's a snowy day. Who cares? All right, guys, I just got a little more ready because I'm going to shoot a little bit of brand content for Instagram. Um, so I switched my beanie just to one that wasn't like branded if I'm thinking about it I never try to wear something that like has the brand name or something on it if I'm working with another brand Even if they're not related just in case of any issues that could ever come up So I switched into this plain blue beanie, which I'm feeling like is cute the hair I did fix up the curls a little bit and this is what I'm wearing today nothing super special, but I love these pants and I I think I showed them in a haul when I got them, but I wanted to show them on because I feel like they're so cute. These were splurge. I got these at Aritzia when I went to New York. I will say they run big. I do not normally wear like a size four. These are a size four. So I w I'm normally like a six or an eight. So do with that what you will. I definitely think they run a bit bigger and I think these fit me like absolutely perfectly. I have on some, some slippers. These are, I've been wearing these every day, so those are not the shoes that I was wearing, but my little sweater is from like LPA, I think. I, I got this like three years ago, so I don't think they still sell it, but it's a cute little ivory cropped sweater that I wear, and I layer with this piece a lot. I wear this a good amount in the winter. It has not stopped snowing, so it's been hard to get outside today. Um, for really anything, but hopefully it stops at some point and Jared and I can take Squirtle to The park for just even a little bit. I want to see him run around in the snow But yeah, it's just like a cozy indoor day. I was just watching my sister's vlog her newest Self-care routine while I got ready in the bathroom. I did a little bit of natural makeup for today and Now I'm gonna record a little bit of Instagram content on my phone Join me at the park. <laughs> Guys, my pumpkins are frosting. <laughs> this looks kind of cute though, a snowy welcome sign. I should probably like take this blanket in, it's probably soaked. Look at all my pumpkins frosting. <laughs>
see me? Oh my god, that brake light is so awful. Hi guys, I went to Pilates since I last talked to you. I was gonna try to vlog in the car, but you know, it's just me saying that I'm going to Pilates or saying that I just went to Pilates. But I did motivate myself. It was at 6.30 tonight, which is like the latest workout class that I've been going to recently because I mean, there's not much classes after like 5.30 where I live and oof, it was hard to get motivated to like get up and go after the sun had fully set and it was pitch black but I did it and I'm proud of myself. It is 7.44 now and we're gonna make soup. Jared suggested we've been wanting to do a potato chowder kind of soup like with corn so that's what we're gonna make. I'm really excited. I love making soup and the fall and winter and we're just gonna do it in an instant pot so it's quick, easy. So I wanna do like a mini, very mini grocery haul of what I picked up. You can even call this a grocery haul, but I'll show you guys some bacon because we are gonna use all the bacon that we have tonight, most likely for the soup and we've been just going through it a lot already. So keep her stocked. Cherry tomatoes, unrelated to the soup, but I got some bread. This is a country, sliced loaf. I almost got it in just like the original loaf form, but I figured just save me some time to not have to slice it. So mm, I've been loving like crusty fresh bread lately. So I'm very excited about that. Probably have to have some on the side of soup. Some green onions because we're running very low. We haven't bought these in a while. So those were definitely needed for the potato soup. I got two baker potatoes. Idaho potatoes, an avocado that's not ripe yet, two jalapenos. I tried to just get small ones. This recipe called for jalapenos, which I almost feel like is a little weird, but we'll try it. Hopefully it doesn't make it overpoweringly spicy. Two shallots. I'm not buying onions anymore. It's really depressing, but onions have been making my tummy very unwell the past few months, so I'm not really trying to use onions in cooking anymore, which I'm really sad because I love onions. But we're trying to use shell, shell instead, which seems to like <laughs> Squirtle's speaking up. I don't know, it seems like a little better, but I'm still experimenting with if I if I even want to do shallot. But I just just add so much flavor to food that like I, I cannot believe this. It's I don't know, it's bad, you guys. And aroma tomato. I don't know. I just feel like we haven't bought tomatoes in forever, so I stocked up on some. And that's it. Um. Well, we're gonna get the Instant Pot out and start chopping, and then we're gonna finish Love is Blind, the reunion, which hopefully will be good, because I'm like, I hate how they did this season in four chunks, or was it three chunks? I think it was four. It was very exhausting. <laughs>
how should cook for 10 minutes. All right, I guess I didn't vlog that much more, but we cleaned out the fridge while this was cooking, and this is how it turned out. It looks delicious, of course. I had to top with a billion green onions and a little bit of bacon, but I'll put the recipe we used down in the description box. It's Instant Pot Corn Bacon Potato Chowder, and I've had it before, and it's pretty good, so can't wait to enjoy this. Wanna do your treat game, Squirtle? That one? Is it that one, Squirtle? Oh, oh yes, yay! You always get it right, Squirtle. Did he ever get it wrong? Yeah, he's got it wrong. Really? With the embarrassing Squirtle? <laughs> With the sniffle like that, you got it wrong? showered and I'm about to dry my hair and I had a bagel and I had some coffee and I think that's pretty much all I did so far today so um today I'm gonna have like a big editing day so I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can in between just sitting at my computer so that's my main goal of today I canceled my workout later today because I had to. It was at a very inconvenient time and I know that I'm not gonna be done and wanted to take a break then, so it's fine. I'm just gonna work out tomorrow instead, like the same class. And I feel like that was good to prioritize that because it always takes me so much longer to like do things than I think it's going to because I'm very, hmm. Well, it's like a nicer word than I'm very slow at doing things just, detail oriented, I don't know. It's actually sunny today and it has not been sunny in a few days at least, yesterday it wasn't. So Jared and I wanna take Squirtle to um, a little like, not a hike, but like a little nature walk in the park and get in some last views before more of the leaves start falling down of like the fall trees and fall foliage. And so I'm gonna dry my hair before we go and do that, I don't think we're gonna do makeup today. We'll probably just brush up the eyebrows, which is my little life hack for, I don't know, I feel like it makes me feel more put together to brush my eyebrows from like, I mean, this is how they like naturally lay, but I don't like it. I like to really brush them up there. I'll have to do an outfit of the day at some point when I have my hair done, cause she cute. We are in the car with Squirtle and Jared, I made him come along with me. Braving the cold. Yeah. But it is sunny today, so hopefully it'll be a little warmer than yesterday. We went to the park and it was just like, it was snowy, but it was just so cold. So we're gonna go to Camelsback Park, which has a really pretty view and some trails back there. We go there a lot, we went there a few weeks ago, and we're gonna just take Squirtle on a little, little nature walk and just enjoy the, kind of the last of the fall foliage before all the trees start. I mean, they're already kind of getting ready, rid of their leaves, but there's still so many pretty trees, so I just wanna get in some last of this one sunny day, cause who knows, the next time we'll have a good, pretty sunny day before it's just full winter and all the trees that are tree bare. right there. Is bare. 
like full of leaves this morning. Really? Yeah, that was the one I was looking at, like just pouring leaves off. It, it like, lost all its leaves right there, you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that was quick. I was sitting at the slide this morning and it was just dumping. Oh my god, it has like 10 leaves left on the whole thing. Are you getting excited to go on a little nature walk? Yeah? Oh no. You look like, yeah, you look like you don't trust us. Where are we taking you? It's gonna be somewhere good. It's not the groomer this time, I promise. Here we are. I've actually never been here when it's snowy. It's not that snowy, but I mean, it's kind of covered in snow. I just mean there's not that much actual snow. Maybe I should have worn boots. All right, guys, I am over the moon excited about the sponsor of this vlog, and that is Sony. Today, I am sharing with you the new Sony Link Buds S in the shade Earth Blue. These are their wireless Bluetooth earbuds, and guess what they are made from? Reclaimed recycled water bottles and recycled automobile parts. For the launch of the new Link Buds S, Sony also donated $500,000 to Conservation International, which is so exciting. I love to see brands putting money and putting an actual initiative behind their more sustainable launches, and I think that is so important. The packaging of the Link Buds S uses almost no plastic. I think that's really important because not only are they going to come in a case, but they're going to come in packaging as well to you in the mail. So just thinking about all aspects of the materials. The Sony Link Buds can be paired with two Bluetooth devices at the same time so they know which one you're listening to like if a call comes in while you're working on your laptop or you're listening to music your link buds are gonna recognize that and they're gonna allow you to pick up the call pause the music etc they also feature noise canceling and ambient sound and the Sony Link Buds S are the world's smallest lightest noise canceling high-res truly wireless headphones your case fully charged is gonna give you 20 hours of battery life and the actual link buds themselves are gonna give you up to six hours of battery life being removed from their case. So your link buds have smart technology that allows them to link online and offline, keeping every world on. This basically means that they have the smartness to adapt to your needs. Whether you're listening to music, you're having a conversation with someone, they will recognize that whatever world you're in, in your music world, in your gaming world, or just in real life. I don't know about you guys, but I think these would be such an awesome thing to ask for for the holidays or to gift to someone, maybe somebody that's making steps to be more sustainable in your life. It would be awesome if you guys supported Sony and this launch. I'm just so excited to be sharing a brand and a launch and a product like this. So the first link down below in my description will have a link to check out the Link Buds S. And thank you so much to Sony for sponsoring this vlog. It is actually such a beautiful day with the sun. There's like hardly anyone here. It's so pretty out, you guys. I have to show you. So we just walked up here. Here's the park from where we came from. We're parked like right over there. And look how beautiful. Hope you guys can see it on camera. All of the fall foliage in the trees. I will say a lot of them are still green. Maybe they just never turn. I think this is my favorite view over here though. It's really winter y'all. Fall had a very brief moment, and it's full winter now. You can see downtown right here. Hopefully you guys can see the on camera. We have a tiny downtown. That is our entire downtown. That's as big as it gets here, here in Idaho. Right, guys we're doing an outfit of the day from the park because why not we're outside the sun is shining this is my cute little mushroom sweater it's like a sweater vest sweater from newly that I'm renting it's from the brand 
Lisa says Ga. I don't really know the story of the brand, but they do have some cute things though. I've rented from them before. And I have this little, to layer with it, this little ivory shirt from Urban Outfitters. I was wearing a full jacket as you guys saw, but I took it off to do the outfit of the day. I'm also renting these jeans. They're from Levi's. I think they're really cute. I kind of want to keep them, but I don't know. I probably won't just because I don't know. But they are pretty cute, light wash. And then I have on, which got very dirty and very snowy, my white shoes that I always wear, covered in leaves. Wow, really covered in leaves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From Madewell. I crimped my hair and I have a little clip in. That's the look of the day. Well, I had fun, but I need to blow my nose. Me too. <laughs> Did you have fun? I feel like you liked this snow. Yeah? He's like, I'm not, are we going to get a puppuccino or what? what? What was the point of all this? Now we're going to get a little treat, at least I am, at Boise Boba. I haven't had it in so long and I really want to get a Thai iced tea boba without the boba because I always get it without the boba balls. I don't know. Is that horrible? I just like it better without. Is it boba without the boba balls? I don't know. I guess it's just like a Thai iced tea. <laughs> no, it's tea. not because boba is the actual balls i just i just prefer it without i don't know Aaron, if you guys like that or do you do you think that's like an uncultured swine thing to do yay this looks so orangey on camera it's actually just the sun it's not quite this orangey it's, it's orange. yeah it's i feel like it's more creamy oh my god i got a baby blue straw you gotta get the boba straw even when you don't get boba gotta stab it through the little boba wall oh amazing <gasps> Guys, I just need you to know that this kind of stuff happens to me actually. Look at my shoe. Every day, every day something like this happens to me. And I I can't even be mad. I did this to myself. Nice. Haven't even tried it yet, but the car has tried it. I'm taking an editing break to have dinner. We're having the same thing as last night. Our potato soup, which I reheated and I added some broth and milk because it was very, it looked like a mashed potato, to be honest. We've got our toppings and some cheesy toast to dip in there. that would be my cutoff time for tonight. I think I started around either 3.30 or 4. I think it was like between there and I'm cutting myself off at 9.30 because I've edited most of this vlog so far and I did all of the Instagram stuff that I needed to do. I think I just wanna go have some dessert and get comfy and cuddle downstairs. And just end off the day, maybe watch something or start a new show on net. You know what I do want to watch is that hopefully Jared will be down. He usually doesn't like care. He lets me kind of pick whatever. There's a new Christmas movie on Netflix that just came out today with Lindsay Lohan. And I know it's probably going to be so cheesy because like all the holiday Netflix and everything movies are cheesy. But it has Lindsay Lohan and I don't remember the last time she acted in anything that i watched so i have been kind of wanting to watch it and just like kick off the christmas season with a little cheesy uh movie so maybe i'll make some popcorn and just kind of watch that and light up a candle downstairs and that sounds like the perfect way to end off this night Okay, so I made a mini bag of popcorn tonight. Usually I 
have always just bought like full size bags. I got mini bags because a lot of times when I want to make popcorn, like, well, I would say half the time, Jared either like wants to share it with me or doesn't. And I cannot eat the whole thing or I just like, I mean, it's just a little much. So the mini bags are the perfect, perfect. It's like, I would say it's half of a normal bag. The perfect single serving. But I do find that they're kind of hard to, they're hard to open. Like they don't open as good as a normal one. I will say that. And then I know it's already like butter. I don't think that was movie theater butter actually. It's butter, but I always, even when I do my kettle corn, I know it sounds weird, but I like doing like sweet and salty. So I always use a little butter in addition. I know it's probably so horrible for you, but I use this one. And then the Orville Redenbacher's popcorn oil, I think it's called, is my fave but they were out last time, so I just got this one, but I do use some of this, and I'll probably do a little bit extra salt on top, just cause like, if I'm going all out with butter popcorn, why not just go all out, you know what I mean? Like why try to skim if I'm already doing the damn thing? You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna go crazy, but that's probably good. Fluff it up, spin it around. Guys, I love popcorn. I love making popcorn for a home movie so much it brings me so much happiness i'm gonna do just a little bit of yeah that much because i know there's already salt on this i'm still working on my giant pumpkin candle it is true i'm pretty much like i could get rid of it i'm gonna um keep this jar though that's one of the reasons i wanted it to keep this amazing reusable pumpkin glass jar for next year, I'll probably put like candy in it. Got my popcorn. Got my squirtle. Got my hubby. Falling for Christmas. Our first Christmas movie. I'm ready for anything. I'm ready for cheesiness. I'm ready for it all. All right, you guys, I'm coming on to end off this vlog. It was just a couple days in my life. It was a little shorter than my normal vlogs, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Make sure to check out the Sony Link Buds S in the description box down below, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video or vlog. I love you. Bye. And check out my last video if you missed it because it didn't do as great views-wise, and I think it was a fun video. It was something different, so check that one out if you missed it. Okay. See you guys soon.